I'm going to demonstrate a dyno run with my little uh, dyno simulator here. It's not a real dyno, but it's good enough to show you I mean, how you'd run the software. So if we're going to run a test with the controller, just like normal, you click on Start Dyno Run, and the gauges are going to pop up. Now, if you set it up with a controller, you're going to see this new little box here and showing up between the two round gauges. And in here, there is a actual RPM. Let's say the engine's idling now about 1,100, 1,200, and this max RPM. Max RPM is critical. It was set in the test condition screen. And in the test condition screen, we also said we're doing an axe selling test. This is critical because when the RPM, this RPM here, gets above 6200 the program knows the software knows the test is done ramp the valve closed to put load on the motor and uh, save the data uh, if at any time during that test something goes wrong close the throttle or you can move the control knob and control will revert back to the control knob now one little condition needed to run a uh, a, a test with the controllers we want horsepower to be displayed on a gauge here typically most people are going to put rpm on this left round gauge and horsepower on this right round gauge if you don't have horsepower over here this is how you'd set it up you click on options gauge settings round gauge settings and here you can see we've set it up to be horsepower we could have selected something different fuel flow rpm boost air fuel something like that but we want this to be horsepower. And then the range, 0 to 600 works for us. We could have set something else up different, a user specified even, go from 0 to 10 or 0 to 5 horse if you're working with really small motors. But 0 to 600 works for us, so we're going to keep that. Keep these settings. And like it says there, if you've made a gate change to these gauges, it's best to back out, click on cancel because we didn't start a test, and go back in. That means everything gets refreshed and everything's done correctly. So we're going to get ready to run this test. Now here's the desired RPM, the max RPM. I'm going to be showing up here at 6200 and here's the actual RPM. When this RPM gets above 6200 the software knows the test is done. It's not these RPMs down in these boxes. It's not an RPM setup in one of these. It is this particular RPM here. So if you can see in this case these RPMs match, but if they didn't, especially if this RPM is zero, that means the controller is not seeing the right RPM. You don't have something set up right. So just realize this has to be reading the correct RPM to work. So okay, now we're going to actually run our test. Now we'll start our test by pressing, we could click here or we could press F1 or you could have a remote start stop switch. But it's critical that before you start your test, you have to have the motor wide open. So what we're going to do in this simulated test is I'm going to open the throttle, which raises the RPM, and then apply load, which brings the RPM down. Open the throttle, and then apply load. That's with the water control valve. With the manual control of the dyno knob, we're adding water. And every time we and open the throttle, the RPM goes up, and then we got to pull it back down by applying load. When the, when the throttle finally gets to wide open, full power, you drag it back down, and it's probably going to be oscillating a little bit here like a real motor would. And we're, then we're going to say, once it's at wide open, press F1, start the recording. And you can see the valve is opening, the RPM is sweeping up, just like it would in a real test. If we didn't like the way this was working, you saw when it got up to 6200, it ramped the valve, uh, the valve ramped down to the starting condition, pulled the RPM down to the motor, and the test was over. The screen closed, and it says, "What do you want to do with this data set?" You can say, "Yes, I want to save it. I want to use all the defaults," or "Yes, I want to save it, but I might may, might want to make some changes to whatever's on this screen back here." Uh, maybe what folder you saved in, maybe you want to change the name, maybe you want to change these commons. And just so you know, most everything on this screen here can be changed later. A month from now, three years from now, it can all be changed later. So most people, or you can abandon the data, I don't want to keep this. Most people would just use this. Yep, I want to save the data, it downloads the data, it's actually going through the data. It says, I found one run of 8.7 seconds, I'm going to click OK. And here's our power run. 
it looks kind of screwy because the torque is incredibly flat because that's what our simulator is doing right now. Our bench simulator just said, oh, give it a certain amount of torque. And here we got our power going up here. So this is uh, how a test looks being run with the controller.